coming to you from deep inside the bowels of a great big empty. Get ready for another episode of The Home Defense Show with Skip Coriel. This is Phoenix Coriel. Welcome to the Home Defense Show. Hey folks, this is Skip Coriel. Welcome to the Home Defense Show. I'm bummed out today. I wasn't going to do this video. I was going to have a nice relaxing day. I mean, it's raining outside. I thought I'd just goof off for a while. You know, but you wake up in the morning and you pick up your cell phone and you look at the headlines and you go, oh, crap. <laughs> I never should have picked up my cell phone. You know, I pick up the cell phone and I, and I look at these. I'm just going to read off a few of these headlines here. Students as young as eight, fourth grade teacher identified as victims in Uvalde school shooting. There's like 19 kids little kids murdered by uh some crazy guy 18 year old kid in uh, texas right rob elementary school two teachers i guess social media accounts linked to alleged mass killer paint disturbing picture just the fact that he killed all those people that's pretty disturbing I I don't care what he said on social media. The guy's crazy, right? That's disturbing. Police recount chilling details of elementary school shooting. Two girls missing after deadly Texas school mass shooting. Matthew McConaughey reacts to horrific school shooting in his hometown. I don't care what Matthew McConaughey has to say about this. He has no answers. He's not going to fix it for us. It doesn't matter. Folks, I want to try and keep this short, but I don't know how I'm going to do this. As always, there's going to be a call for abolishing the Second Amendment, disarming citizens. I don't see that happening. I really don't. More and more people are understanding that the Second Amendment is important, not just for keeping the government accountable to the people, but these other crazy people. Our society, our culture is broken. And it's been broken for a long time. It, it's sick and it's getting sicker. I see two things here. I see Two ways of ha handling this and we need to do both the first is a long-term fix it took decades for America to get this screwed up I mean it, it did when I, I'm 64 when I was growing up we, we didn't have this crap happening when I was growing up when I was a kid you know everyone knew if you had a penis, you were a man. If you had a vagina, you were a woman. We don't even know that now. When I was growing up, people knew that abortion was murder. They don't know that now. When I was growing up, people knew that going to church, praying to God, asking for his help was a good thing. We don't know that now. Now it's like it's every man for himself, right? If it feels good, do it. Well, that kind of a slogan, a, a world and life view, takes us to Rob Elementary School, where an 18-year-old kid walks in and, and shoots 19 little boys and girls. What's the long-term fix? Get on your hands and knees and pray to God. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Return to God. But I don't have 
confidence that our culture is going to do that because so many of us are screwed up. We're just all messed up. We're messed up in the head. We're messed up in the heart. And uh, I don't have a lot of confidence that America is going to return to God uh, over this or much of anything else. I hope and pray. But it took decades to get this way. It might take decades to get back if it's even possible. Second, the short-term fix. <clears throat> this is the hand that we were dealt. You've got to play the hand that you're dealt. We're living in a screwed up culture, a violent culture, a selfish, narcissistic culture. That's what America is right now. So you have to adapt. You've got to watch out for your own. You've got to protect your family. You've got to get really good with your firearm. I tell you, one of the more disturbing things is the trend now towards these mass shooters wearing body armor. That makes it a lot tougher to kill them. 30 foot headshots. If you're not proficient at making a 30 foot headshot, you need to start practicing. I've been criticized for years over practicing headshots and teaching headshots because people say, hey, listen, it's going to be eight feet away and you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be stressed out. So just go for center of mass and that's the best you can hope for. Well, if that's all you ever practice, that's the best you can hope for. But if you routinely practice at making 30 foot headshots, then you've got a chance to make that shot. And lately, these mass shooters, they're wearing body armor. What does that mean? It means you've got to practice those headshots because you might have to make it. Where do you aim? Bridge of the nose from the front, ear hole from the side. Practice making those headshots. If you haven't bought your body armor yet, take my advice, get it. Get a couple of sets of uh, good body armor because who knows? Maybe it's going to be illegal or maybe there's gonna be a run on body armor. Go ahead, buy your body armor now. Get it out of the way. You're a law-abiding citizen, get it you might need it, okay? It's not gonna hurt for you to have it. You've got to train. It would be great if we could arm the people in our schools. Teachers, administrators, parents, but our schools are so screwed up right now. We can't keep them safe physically. We can't keep them safe spiritually. We can't keep them safe psychologically. It's all, it's all messed up. The best you can hope for right now is mitigation. Limit the damage that these people can do to the people that you love. Protect your family. Okay, that's what you have to do. And that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> you might want to reevaluate the gun that you carry, or if you even carry. I know most of my students, they don't carry. I wish that you would every single day. And I know it's a pain in the butt. There are days I don't want to carry that big, bulky Ruger 5.7. But I force myself to do it because of times like these. 
okay? That five inch barrel is a pain in the butt. That 20 round magazine is a pain in the butt to carry. But that's the gun that I wanna go against a mass shooter with. So that's the gun that I carry. And that gun will make a 30 foot headshot. Your, your little tiny, you know, inch and a half snub nose five shot revolver isn't gonna do that. It won't do it, folks. Okay. All right. I promise to keep this short. You need to uh, time to suck it up and get serious. Okay. Your family depends on you. The culture depends on you. Hope and pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Okay. Have mercy on us. We need to return to God. We need to get good with our firearms. Okay? That's my advice. So uh, my, my other advice, go to Center Shot Indoor Gun Range in Door, Michigan, where it's always a perfect 70 degrees, and make those 30-foot headshots. Run it all the way down to 75 feet. Body shots, 75 feet. Headshots, 30 feet. Get good at them and carry your gun every single day. Check out United States Concealed Carry Association, USCCA, because you're going to need that legal protection, okay, if you ever have to use your gun. All right, this is Skip Coriel on the Home Defense Show. I'm going to keep it short today, but consider what I said, okay? Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on us. Have mercy, pray, and practice. God bless. Stay safe. Go ahead. Make my day. Thank you for joining us this week on The Home Defense Show. Now, get out there and protect the ones you love. We'll see you next week with more of the best in home defense. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle!